All right, I had to interrupt Plaid Week to do this haul, but I'm also toying with the idea of making this a video in my Plaid series. We'll know by the title. As of right now, filming this, I have no idea what I'm doing with this video. Um, okay, so I just have not been to Dollar Tree in a while, and for, for me, not going in like a week is a while, and I haven't even put up a video in a couple weeks for Dollar Tree. Anyway, I just really wanted to do a Dollar Tree haul. I was missing it. So I want to show you guys what I found. Plus, I'm also going to throw in some things that I got from Hobby Lobby just because there's going to be a Dollar Tree DIY featuring some of these things. I'm not going to talk about what it is, but if I execute it, if I do it the way that I envision it in my head, I'm pretty positive this will be hands down my favorite DIY ever. Sorry to tease you like that. Not going to talk about what it is, but I'm really excited for it. It's going to come out eventually. I don't know when. It's not really a Christmassy DIY. It could be related to winter, but we'll get into all that. Let's just go ahead and dive in. I, hmm, where do I go, girl? Where do I go? <coughs> there are actually some plaid DIYs for plaid week that I wanted to do, so I hauled some of this stuff. The question will be whether or not it makes it into plaid week, but I needed some of these trees and I got four of them. I really was thinking I was not gonna get these, that they were gonna be gone because it's so close to Christmas, but they had a whole new box out and I grabbed four paper towels. They have a new collection of stationery. What? It is a Paisley set. I love that they put out brand new themes, brand new things, and then everything's like a cohesive collection. So this one is a journal, Always Be Humble and Sweet. I love how beautiful that is. I love this. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about uh, putting all this like in a bag and giving it to my daughter for Christmas. This is a notepad. <clears throat> this is a spiral journal with a teal background and gold foil pineapples. Jay, are you okay? Magnetic notepad. Look how pretty that is. The details up here in the list. And then this is a notepad. Gorgeous. Love this purple, this plum color. The paisley print. And then this is a desk pad with pen. Uh, not my favorite. I feel like the colors are, I don't know. It's just so beautiful and then flat toned a little bit for me. But anyway, brand new. I am also grabbing very random. So we may go from Christmas to random stuff to whatever. I found some new cute books for my niece. What in the world? Is this for a damn dollar? This is a little series about a little girl named Leah. And Leah has a bath. Leah puts on her clothes. Leah, go Leah goes to bed and Leah goes potty. And the illustration is really adorable. I love that each book is a different color. And I love reading to her and she's so smart. She'll, whenever I'm with her, she gives me a book and she's telling me to read to her. Uh, um, so I start reading and she just sits there and listens and starts clapping. I'm like, okay. I also got some gift bags, 2018 mm, for gift bags, but these are really cute. I love that I can actually like peel this white piece off and then I could even peel this off. I like to deconstruct these bags and put them on other things. So I got two of them for that purpose. I got a sheet of adhesive diamond wrap. It's gold, it's kind of hard to tell. I saw this in silver. I've seen it in purple, pink, and blue. I was running out of paper bags for my daughter's lunches. I got this money holder, let it snow. I'm gonna use this for like crafts. And I got this little bag set. I got it for this bag right here. I thought this was really pretty. I have no idea if I already hauled this or not, but I saw it and I was like, I don't know if I have that. And I really loved this little bag. And then this is the other option. Don't really care for those two. It's just this bag that I really liked. And then I got this set, which I don't know that I have this one either. 
but I liked the Santa. Thought he was really, really cute. Look at all the cute snow. And then you get the little penguin and the snowman. And then this bag set, I feel like I got this, but for some reason when I looked at it, I wasn't quite sure. I knew I got something with a truck. I just couldn't remember if it was this set or not. I guess I'm gonna find out when I start wrapping. Look at the bottom, I just love the black and the green. Anyway, so just in case, I love this one too with the little cabin in the background. If they had made these bags into larger bags, I'm gonna quickly go through these items just because I think I showed it in a video somewhere. I think it was in my plaid shop with me, but the lighting wasn't that great or there it was somewhere. I'm gonna show it anyway just in case the lighting wasn't great, but the cowboy and cowgirl stickers. Uh, these little flag stickers. Some of this you, you haven't seen. Um, I got these little zoo stickers, but I used the elephant since the last time you saw this. I got some robot stickers again. I've hauled these a couple times. I really like them. So I got another set. This little like, succulents and plants. Got dupes of these. The nature one. And then the beach one, which I love this one. And then I got this handmade card. I wasn't sure if I'd already gotten one, so I got it again. I love the little town landscape. Thank you cards. I know this was not something that I showed you guys. Uh, got this one thing, or maybe I did. I don't remember. I think I did, but I think I cut it out in editing to keep the video not as long. So this one says thank you in silver. And then mint green and silver. Just thank you cards, and this one's hysterical. Thank you. So cute. And they're all blank inside, so you can like write whatever custom message you want. And then look at these fun little Hershey chocolates. I don't know if they're worth a dollar. I have no idea what these are going for somewhere else. But the little boy and the girl, so cute. And you just open it up. These are gonna go in our stockings. And I got this for my stocking as well. Again, I don't know if it's worth a dollar. It's probably less. But the Ferrer Rocher. However. Okay. And what? These were the two I liked the most. I think there were some other ones. I don't remember what they were. But this one's a little llama. I love how bright and fun and festive this is. It has a little Velcro. And then the... Flamingo, which this one's very, very Golden Girls Miami to me. This is basically the reason why I wanted to showcase these items again, just so that you could see these hand creams a little bit better. Like how cute are they? I haven't even had a chance to smell them because they're sealed and I'm going to give these away. And then here is a mermaid and kitten. And they each have their own scent strawberry, watermelon, this was grape, this is almond, and the last one is vanilla, and it is a little unicorn. Moving on, I got some snowflake ornaments. You guys know I love using Dollar Tree ornaments as toppers for my presents. I don't know if there's gonna be a video like that this year. There's a second one, here is the snowflake glitter stickers. I love these snowflake glitter stickers. They're actually really pretty. And I got three headbands. You're gonna see why very soon. The Santa, how cute is that? They're actually really great quality. The reindeer and the Christmas tree. I think they had a snowman, they had some other ones. What? Farm, farmer's market and then this is like a pop-up chipboard. So, the heck? Oh, I love this little plaque. Dream with the moon and the stars. So, don't know if my daughter would like this for her dorm um, decor. We'll find out. And then some new makeup bags or pencil pouches, cosmetic bags, whatever. They had a couple of these in like pink and purple and different words. Girl boss, this girl can. I didn't really care for those. 
I liked the white that says hustle and I like the navy that says oh it's happening so that navy is everything okay uh, let's see I got some tissue paper the tissue paper also this year was not that impressive last year they put out those truck tissue paper or the little vintage truck or the Christmas tree truck or whatever solid they did not put those out again this year thank goodness you guys know I bought doubles and doubles or quads whatever so this is what I got this year and okay do I have this but what gift boxes I know I have some other ones with with a car but I don't know if I have this one the gift boxes this year were very nice and then I got this huge gift bag it's really cute. I'm loving like all the black, the nighttime feature. I think that's really great. So this bag was really cute. I mean, the dog has on galoshes. Like, what, what do you call those? Like, I don't know, but the dog is ready. This dog is ready to go places. This is my last Dollar Tree bag. And then we'll get into Hobby Lobby. Tidy Bowls, thank you for commenting and letting me know that this is a great product for a dollar. I did read your comments and uh but i learned that it's like one bottle per toilet bowl and you actually put the bottle in the toilet bowl so found that out as i was installing it of course it shows it on the freaking picture i just wasn't paying attention so i got two more guest bathroom in my bathroom and then elf it's not overly impressive that it's at dollar tree because some elf things are already a dollar like a dollar three six nine kind of thing this is a mattifying powder and translucent. It's hard to see, but this one's pretty yellow in the picture. It looks like this in real life, like this color. And this is new. I've never seen this before. Skin Nutrition's Paraben Free Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum for Flawless Younger. Perfect. Okay, girl, tell me that for a dollar. I wonder what it looks like. I don't even know. That's fancy. Comment if you've used this. Let me know your thoughts. But a dollar? Not that that means you should buy things because it's a dollar, but I was curious and I'm going to try it out. This is a cleansing water, makeup remover, and moisturizer. I don't know. This was also very intriguing. But I need to look and see how much alcohol is in this because alcohol is very drying. And this was also very cool. Hydrogen peroxide, no big deal. What I love about it is that it's a spray. I've never seen that feature in my hydrogen peroxide bottles. You usually have to like dip it in cotton. Sometimes you get more, it spills everywhere. This is a freaking spray nozzle. So I thought that was, that was cool. All right, so that takes care of Dollar Tree stuff. And now let's get into Hobby Lobby. I will show you guys that I picked up wrapping paper. This one's really beautiful. Look at that. These are basically like my colors, like this rusticy brown paper sack look with gold, green, and red. So I love this. It was $8.99, but it was 50% off. So it was like, what, $4.50? And then, wow, this is stellar. And by the way, by the way, that's a lot of wrapping paper. This one's super heavy. I think I get way more in this roll. Let's see what it says. 100 square feet. And this one is 40 square feet. So that's why this one's super heavy. This one has a lot, but it's like a little Thomas Kincaid-ish type of town. It's not that it's Thomas Kincaid, but it just reminds me of that. What? And it also reminds me of my little village set. So had to get this. Bows, I normally don't do this because I just like to create and DIY my own like present toppers using Dollar Tree stuff. But I couldn't pass up on these. These were just really pretty and whimsical. And I just wanted to get them. $3.99 each, so $2. 50% off. Look how beautiful this is. Love it. And then you get three little bows. So, and which if you think about it, this was $2. And Dollar Tree sold them for a dollar each. This, was, this is cheaper at Hobby Lobby. It is a red version, also three. You can get the polka dot, candy cane, stripe, and then these little, whatever you call that. 
Oh, where do I begin here? Okay, I got some plaid scrapbook paper. This is just my dream, my dream paper right here. Oh my gosh, I just love that. It was $12.99, 50% off of that. And then I got this set. Kind of hard to really show you guys all the is still kind of closed. This uh, 12 Days of Christmas Paper Crafting Kit by the Paper Studio. I mean, it just has my name written all over it. Vintage, plaids. I just love this. Shows you all the little things you get. You get stickers and scrapbook paper, uh, like die cuts or journaling cards kind of thing. So I got that. And let's see, everything else is basically a bunch of like little stickers. So these are Christmas cat tags, so these are not stickers, but this is a Christmas tag. The little reindeer, and you get how many in here? 10. And I got a Santa version of Christmas tags. So cute. I love Santa's face in this. Very jolly. And then I got some... Candy Cane's Foam Embellishments. And then this sticker set. Love this. Look at the cute little candy canes. And the Gingerbread Men. I just love Gingerbread Men. Here they are again in a different style obsessed look at the satin bows and then they have vests what and then cute little cute little elves with some rhinestones where is this like silver glitter oh it's on top something must have like stuck to it and then oh, look at these nutcrackers i'm really into the nutcrackers now i feel like you're gonna probably see that next year i'm gonna start incorporating them a lot more in my house and i even want some like those large outdoor nutcrackers that stand by your door if you know a good place to get that comment and let me know i imagine they're gonna be costly so just let me know what you have or what you found but it's pretty much it like my life is back to normal doing a dollar tree haul but thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to start this DIY that I have in mind. But plaid series is not over. Whether or not this made it into the plaid series, I have some DIY still in mind that I wanna execute for plaid week. And then I'm probably gonna go on a little bit of a break and just enjoy uh, my vacation and Christmas time. It is my birthday coming up and um, but yeah, but I'll definitely be around here and there. Maybe some random sporadic videos for December, but then we're going to get back into it in January. And hopefully I'm going to have a ball in 2019 and you're going to have a great year. And yeah, so anyway, I digress. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.